and Brewster. Looks like he said for all of us, Bob. I don't like it. Well, take it from me, the fellow's poison. Why don't you stay here? And admit that I'm afraid of him. Listen, my friend. I'm not going because he sent for me. I'm going because of something I wish to do. Paterno and Brewster are against him, too. Well, let me go with you. Not this time. What's your step, Chief? Don't worry about me. I'll take care of myself, all right. Consider him useful to me. We understand each other. We're organized. What good is he to us? Maybe he will have something to say about that when he comes. Suppose he does. He's not here. And what if he were? Are we sheep that we follow him blindly? Man isn't human. Nah. I don't think he's on the train. Gentlemen, you, what is your report? Fine. Yeah, everything fine. Paterno. Fine, Chief, fine. Everything's okay. My affairs are in excellent shape. Do you wish to hear what I have to say? Then listen. I'm through with you. The rest might be yellow and lick your boots, but not me, not me. I'm not afraid of you, nor of anything you can do. Hello? Dick Tracy speaking. Oh, yeah. 
Well, I think you better take that up with Anderson's office. Yes, he has my report on it. All right, goodbye. Hello? Speaking. Oh, yes. Well, I know all about that. Send Steve Lockwood in, will you? And now, Gordon, what's on your mind? Well, I'm thinking you're about the busiest man I ever saw. <laughs> well, Hello, Gwen. Hello, Steve. The Stern reports another spider mark case. Strange how every single person branded with the spider mark and then murdered turns out to be some well-known criminal. Torno, Benson, Corvich. Were all those men victims of the spider's mark? Seven of them here. Now Stern reports another. It ceased to be a job for the local authorities. The murders have taken place all over the United States. Before I can expect to receive any notice from my G-man brother, I guess I'll have to become an arch criminal. What was it you had on your mind, Gordon? I think it was something to do with the fact that uh, it's your birthday. <laughs> well, I... We had sort of planned to celebrate. That is, if the nation can spare you for half a day. What are you talking about? Why the circus? Circus? It's yeah. more than just a circus. Ellery Brewster has hired performers to give a show for the little orphans at his country estate. And we promised him that we'd drag you along with us. Uh, I, I can make it, Gwen. Oh, Dick. Hey, can I go, Chief? I guess so, Mike. Oh, I think it's wonderful of Mr. Brewster to do all this for the orphans. No, oh, it's swell of Hey, come on, let's sit down, Joey. Well, 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 look who's here. Hello. Oh, hiya, Steve. Hi, Mr. And Miss Gwen, I'm glad to see you. Hello, Hello there, Gordon. Brewster. Well, uh, where's that brother of yours? Oh, working hard as usual. He can't take time off. Hey, hey, yeah. Here, let me have that ball. You kids don't know how to hold that ball. Did you play football, sir? Did I play football? Say, I was a shortstop on All-American team. I was. Shortstop? You mean quarterback, don't you? Oh, well, it's all the same thing. You know what I did? I made three touchdowns in the first inning, and I made a home run in the last quarter. And how did I do it? Just like this, with a drop kick. <laughs> Music. Curtain. Popo, come out. Popo, come out and make your bow. <laughs> and now, kind people. I must leave you with Popo, because without me, the puppets, they have no voice and cannot talk. Isn't that right, Popo? Hey, you big lug, take your hat off. The kids can't see. How about taking your own off? I told a lie today, and Jack Onet got spanked for it. Yes? A long-distance call is waiting for you in your study, Mr. Brewster. A long-distance call? Yes, sir. All right, I'll take it. Uh, will you excuse me for just a moment, please? Yes. Yes, sir. Why was your little sister Jacquinette spanked, Coco? Because I told a lie! Outside, will you? Federal 4,000. Hello? Hello, Dick. Ellery Brewster has just been murdered. Murdered? 
I'll leave right away. There's a footprint. This is the direction from which the shot must have come. Make an examination of that. Please, Gwen. See what you think. The two specimens of sawdust are not the same. They come from different types of wood. I noticed that uh, sawdust does not cling to your clothes as it does to the others. We are puppeteers, sir. Uh, we do not perform in a sawdust ring. We can all vote for the puppeteers, Mr. Tracy. They were giving their performance at the time of the murder. I see. Can you explain this? Sawdust, no doubt. Some of my puppets are stuffed with it. Oh. I wasn't aware of that. Take these two crooks back into the house. Let me take care of these fellas, Chief. Here's something they left behind them. Let me see it. That was a pretty good tackle you made there, son. Oh, gee, that was nothing. But say, you sure can use a gun. You're Dick Tracy, aren't you? Yes. I'm just an orphan. But someday I'm going to be a G-man, too. Well, now's a good time to start. Come along. I saw three men out here. You did. One of them got away. I'd know him if I ever saw him again, though. You sure about that? Certainly. Well, take this into the house and wait there for me. Yes, Mr. Tracy. How about it, Gwen? The sawdust you found on that puppeteer is the same as we discovered in this room. Mr. Martino, can you account for the sawdust I found in the cup of your trousers? Certainly. No doubt it fell there when I was fixing one of my little puppets. Some of them I stuffed with sawdust to make them fat. Let me have one of those records, Steve. Right, Dick. Please, please, Mr. Ghost, don't hurt me. Why was your little sister Jacquinette spanked, Coco? Honest, honest, Mr. Ghost. I'll never tell lies again. Honest, I won't. Put up your hands, everybody. I took the precaution to remove the bullets before bringing that cleverly disguised revolver in here. You came here while your assistant worked the puppets, and this record played your voice. You shot Elry Brewster and then returned to the booth in time to take your bow. Take him away, boys. You didn't think I'd get you, did you? I knew it was you all the time. 
See if they're locked up. I'll be out the station shortly. You certainly cleaned up this murder in a hurry. Uh, these men were only tools. They didn't plan the murder. Have you seen anything of Junior? Oh, there you are. Why didn't you get in the bus with the others? Everyone was terribly worried, you bad boy. Well, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'd like to keep this little rascal with me for a while, miss. You see, he can identify one of the men that got away. And his life won't be safe until this matter is cleared up. Well, I guess that'll be satisfactory, Mr. Tracy. But you'll have to make the necessary arrangements. He really is one of our very best boys. <laughs> Say, Gordon, you were Booster's attorney. Did he at any time say or do anything to arouse your suspicions? Well, about a month ago, he did give me a sealed envelope, which he asked me to keep for him. An envelope? Yes. He wouldn't tell me what was in it. As I remember now, he acted rather peculiar about it. He said he wanted me to have it in case anything happened to him. Could you get that for me right away? Yes, it's in my office. I'll go down there and then meet you at the lab. Good. inside, quick. Hmm, his condition seems critical. What if he should die? Then we will eliminate a very dangerous enemy. He won't die. But by means of this operation, a simple altering of certain glands, he will be unable to distinguish between right and wrong. In that event, he will be very useful to us, Moloch. Very useful. My brother Gordon, Brewster's attorney, goes to get a certain sealed envelope bearing on the case. His car is discovered wrecked and Gordon can't be found. Last night, his office was broken into and all records taken. Whoever is responsible for those spider marks is the man we want. And I'm asking for full assignment to the case. Go to it, Dick. You can have a free hand. Thanks. Like the work of some crank. Unless you can give me a more definite reason why the bridge should not open, Mr. Tracy, the plans will go through as scheduled. I have two weeks in which to work. Perhaps I may get a lead from these notes in that time. Meanwhile, if you receive any more, will you please let me know? Certainly. Gladly. Thank you. I have just removed the bandages. The transformation is complete. Will his face be recognized? No. There is a slight scar, and the facial nerves have contracted. There is also a white streak on his hair. Is the operation completely successful? Can he be dominated? 
he is entirely incapable of recognizing evil from good. Wait. Come in, Gordon. your masters. You are my masters. You regret nothing that has happened. I regret nothing. Your brother is your enemy and a fool. He is a fool. It is well that you feel that way. You will be privileged to share in the power which is mine. It is time we startle these fools out of their smug complacency. This little machine is only a model of the big one which we have. The one we shall use to destroy the Bay Bridge. Watch that phase. Each threatening note was sent to the governor from a different post office. Each one was written on a different typewriter. There is one note, however, which gives us a real clue. This letter was typed on a 5A Underton. That model was discontinued three years ago. Each letter is imperfect. The clue is the G. The letter G is new. Was replaced from a different type model. That means it was repaired in some shop. Light. I want you men to find out where that 5A Underton was repaired. Who paid the bill and the address of that person. Time is short. This clue must lead us to the man back of the spider murders. The man who is threatening to destroy the Bay Bridge. Get going. where the typewriter was repaired? No, better than that. Here's the address of where it was returned. 238 Burton Place. Chief, we've located the address. 238 Burton Place. room and drag any information out of them you can. All right, guys, All right, get over here. Let's go. Come on, tramp. Hurry up. They're due to make an attempt on the bridge in less than an hour. We've got to work fast. When the bridge is being patrolled. No one will be anywhere near it. You know, I never saw a chart like that before. 20,000 cycles, crystallization point. 36,000 cycles, steel brakes. Steve. Steve, everything is calibrated in cycles. Well, years of cycles. Electricity, sound. Sound. That's it. Sound vibrations. Crusoe's voice could break a wine glass. It's not impossible. These beans may have just such a machine. A machine that will disintegrate matter by sound. Yes, but it... There may still be time to save the bridge. Send out a police conscription for every available truck to be driven onto the Bay Bridge. The more heavily loaded, the better. Well, but Dick, I... Crusoe's voice could not have broken the glass had it been filled with wine. We may be able to load the bridge with tons of extra weight and thereby destroy all their calculations. Mobilize every truck in the city. Right. Hello, give me the old operator. Calling all cars. Mobilize every truck. Send them to the Bay Bridge.
and wonderfully spun cables is more than just a bridge. It symbolizes a highway to a greater civilization. Come on. 